For your consequences, you can add in initial and residual risk. This is really easy to set up your own risk matrix to be as big or as small as you need. You can customize the particular attributes as well as all the different colors. So for this one, the initial risk that I have selected is AD3. And we're going to add in the residual risk after we have chosen asset after we have changed over the barrier condition. So once that's been updated, we'll select this one and you can now see the initial and the residual risk and how these have changed.